what is up guys in this video i'm going to show you how to launch the life after dx9 or the dx11 in both 32 and 64 bit windows so DirectX is about improving multimedia experiences such as 3d gaming graphics and the audio your dx mode also depends on not only the game but on your graphic card itself and the lagging comes in when you try to play the game with low or mid-end systems or graphic cards. In this instance, you can lower your DX mode to DX9 but at the cost of low graphic quality. As I said, high-end graphic cards tend to handle DX11 games more easily than mid to low-end graphic cards. So if you have a good system, especially a good gaming graphic card, you can get the best of the both worlds. But still, DX11 is way more better compared to DX9 because DX11 can perform to its best when you also have a best system. But if not, we could stay in the DX9. So this is for some people having DX11 mode when launching the main client. That is because if you have a 64-bit system, the game tends to run also in the DX11 mode. And the problem is, for some reason, the game is lagging at DX11 mode. So you see, I have the Life After Launcher on my desktop running in the DX11. But since we are trying to switch it to DX9, here's how. So I have to go to the properties to find its file location. You will see here the bin folders that comes with x64 and x86 folder. That simply means x64 is for DX11 and x86 is for DX9 files. We need the X9, so we will open this X86 folder and run the life after client as administrator. And after that, the Netis game logo will appear, and don't worry, the game will not run. And with that, the DX mode will be changed into DX9. And now, in the next time you will run the main life after client on your desktop, the game will use Direct X9 mode. And if you want to use again the DX11, of course, same method of opening the X64 Life After Client. You wait for the logo, then launch the main Life After Client. So that is how to use DX9 or DX11 mode for the game of Life After. And before I forget, these direct X mode are never be responsible for the bug of the game. It's not because you use the DX9, you can now escape from the bugs of using the DX11 mode. The DirectX is just only responsible for the graphics and the performance of the game. Meaning, the low the DX mode, you can have a better performance but low in the graphic quality. And the higher the DX mode, the higher in graphic quality but it may affect the performance when you have a low to mid-end system of graphic cards. That's it. Thank you so much.